Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. So today in this video, we are going to provide a walkthrough of automated transmitter letter form. So this is an Excel automated transmitter letter where we have created for our client. So in this video, uh, we have created an Excel sheet with automated buttons that will create a dynamic documentary transmitter. So there is a document transmitter which we have created for our client, city of Jaipur. So all these fields, viewers can see here, this one, this one, um, email, phone number. So all they are dynamic. Uh, just let's go to that Excel sheet. Now there is the form and uh, we have used a drop down. So this is the city uh, of Chapel naming client. So we have a lot of clients under this drop down. So these drop down names are coming from here, drop down data. As you can see here, there's a lot, lot of client names here. And in the form, just select, we are selecting, uh, let's say, city of Mumbai as a client. And these names will be definitely gonna change. So let's say we have in city of Mumbai, there are two clients, Kevin Ryder. So this data, as we can see, it's changing upon the selection of client. So let me select another client that is Stephen Fleming. Now there is no data of Stephen Fleming, so uh, only we have Kevin Ryder here right now. Again, if we go to the city of Jaipur, the data will again get changed automatically. Let's see this one, the data. Here, all the data, the name, the client of name, city of Jaipur, project name, and then the phone number, and then the attention naming here. This is the message, and the issued and authorized. This is also dynamic. You can just select the name from here. Let's see, car, and the one we need to authorize is Stephen. And then there are check boxes also. So let's say I need to do with PDF, disk. I'm sending the document to disk, paper. Uh, send via courier, email, by hand. So there are the checklist. And again, the reasons for comment, quotation, approval. And then the page size, uh, we often print in A4. So definitely this is our preferred print size. Now again, there are certain um, right areas behind that. So we just need to provide the description part of that one. And this is the space where we can just type the description. Let's say, um, this is the description example. So right there. This one, transmitted check below, these are also the check boxes which you can select upon sending the document. And on the below part, there is a signature where you can just put your own signature. Now I'm getting the printing. Just click on print. It will ask you the folder where you need to print it. So I'm checking the desktop. I'm clicking on the desktop. Now it's get printed and now it's published. As we can see, this is the document transmitter. Is a PDF generated from that in the name of document transmitter. That's the year, there's the month, and that's the date that 07122023. And the timing is 1359 32 seconds. So this will be saved on the date, time, uh, year, and the time are and minute and seconds. So this is what we have in this video. So if you like this. And if you need this document, so you can just reach me out over WhatsApp or email. Uh, sure, I will definitely share you through that and soon to work with you. And if you require any changes in this Excel form and workbook, you can just reach me out and definitely, I will definitely help you in that. Uh, I will provide my email address and WhatsApp number on the description part of this video. So thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye. Take care.